Welcome to JD and the Sump Sea. I'm D. Uh, we're going to do a little setup on my uh, hive, Zone Mortalis hive tiles. Um, to start here, once again, we're in the, uh, the old tote situation. Um, I decided so many different answers for how to actually build and store these boards. Um, there's a detail one, uh, a little gang hideout. And what I come to the decision is, uh, there's a lot of guys that like to put the foam on the bottom of them to reinforce the, the tile for warpage. Haven't found that to actually be an issue. Um, maybe I'm storing it differently in different situations, but I get a little bit of warpage every once in a while and then I just switch that tile out. Um, if any of you know the cost of some of this, yes, I've spent quite a bit of money on Necrobunda tiles and terrain over the years. But a lot of this is gifted too. Um, you know, birthday presents, anniversary things, Christmas. There's the power station, uh, or, sorry, refueling depot. Um, and I have a mixture of both, well, all different types. Um, there's scatter terrain. My scatter scratch builds, um, three of them are meant to go on this board. Um, one of them is meant to go on the sump. Um, I have these tiles and I have the um, walls and columns glued in mimicking the original N17 uh, cardboard tiles um, with shapes and things. Um, I have totes full of just columns and walls with platforms on that I can um, raise the height. Uh, yeah, you see a little bit of terrain in here. There's a there's a uh, container. Um, hey, there's a connected trader scatter scratch piece that I made. Um, goes right on top. A little bird's eye view in here. <laughs> yeah, there it is, connected trader. Um, anyways, um, and I, some footage on this might be a little bit uh, out of focus. Um, I was pretty excited when I was doing this. I always am when I'm building Necrobunda boards. But, you know, I, I have every version of it that you can come up with. Uh, there's the chem dealer. Um, yeah, there's the pit fighting tile. Um, a year ago, I was making the first videos on that. Um, there it is being moved around. I like the fact that you can turn these tiles, um, you know, to fit different shapes, you know, whichever way you want the maze of the hive to be. It's a lot of fun with the doors that work. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I've got these one layer tiles um, with the shapes glued to it. And then whatever walls and sections are extra, um, I just make that you can go right on top. Um, you'll notice some of those tiles have the, um, the, the columns have the top glued down. Otherwise that's on purpose because some areas I want lower. Um, now we're going to do a little walk through here. This is the, uh, shivers, uh, little witch doctor area there. Um, now there's Jack's it's, a. Uh, Ammo Jack, haha. <laughs> There's a furnace piece. Um, yeah, Zone Mortalis terrain. That's another little bullet merchant shop there. Um, this is the uh, newspaper editor, um, which I'll set up the news tile at some point here. But as you notice, as we walk through here, you can see some of the columns I've just set up. Yeah, chem dealer again. That's the inside of the power station. Um, this is the other side here. Um, yeah, there's the depot. Wanted to give a quick walk through here with the um, uh, fighting pit tile. Like I said, this was my first set of videos I ever did, guys. And, uh, you know, for those of you that were watching back then and are still watching now, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, it's been a blast arguments as to whether this is too tight um, there's too much terrain on this um sometimes there's an argument for it i don't actually normally build 
um, boards for videos. This is only my second time doing it. First time for the hive, to be honest. Um, yeah, might be a little tight to maneuver. We're gonna get some pictures with some models in here a little bit. Um, and, you know, as long as everybody's paying attention to what's going on, it should be fine. Now, if they knock stuff over, they knock stuff over, that happens. Yeah, here's a, a Promethium fuel paint, uh, tile. But yeah, there's, you know, here's another one. This is the collapsed dome tile. Those are, um, playing things in the game, you know, if you want to use them as that. Otherwise, they just go out there and look really cool. Um, but you got joining tiles here. Like I said, I got a pair of columns there with a container on top. All of that separate goes in its own box. A weird little statue from years ago. Um, yeah, it, it all gets used, you know. I'm just catching up here on actually learning how to build build videos to you know tell you guys what i all have here um it, it, have fun don't worry too much about it it's not it's more fun worrying about all the details that are going to go on you know and what what you what on the tile and, and and what you want you know your boards to look like you know Graffiti, don't worry about it right away. I didn't add graffiti until later. That light effects, um, adding lights, all of that. You know, this is this is a consistently moving forward progress, you know, on things. And it's been such a fun time. What you're looking there in that little bit of footage right there, there's oil paints, acrylic paints, inks, um, all manner of glues, rocks, sand, texture paint, rust effects, um, all the different stuffs on my my journey. Um, you know, the poster work. There's, it's crazy. Um, yeah, here we go. We're gonna get a little model's eye view here um, towards the end. And, you know, yeah, camera footage might be a little blurry, but I think you guys are getting the idea. Pretty sure everybody running around in the underhive is pretty well drunk anyways, but here's some full shots board at the end here. Um, and thanks a lot again for joining me. Um, I'm amazed. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe.